3 cylinder 4 misfire detected and another faulty code P0328 cylinder number 3 coil pack this is the one we are talking about at the moment cylinder number 4 normally cylinder number started from the timing chain area now we have access to the spark plugs yes this is the cylinder number visually same size then i'm going to reinstall this one and after that i'm going to move to the next one you can see as it is no any present code this is Mazda 3 2006 model I'm going to show you what happened to the this car basically engine management on I'm going to start the car you can see as it is engine management light on vehicle little bit uh, shaking plug in computer switch off and ignition on You can see as it is P0304 cylinder 4 misfire detected and another faulty code P0328 knock sensor one circuit high input because of these two problems engine management can on however because of the knock sensor problem engine won't shaking and the misfire but it can illuminate engine management light however because of the this vehicle has a misfire and the vehicle little bit shaking as a first step i'm going to change all plugs and cylinder number four coil pack however we go to the engine bay first i'm going to switch off the car right underneath this cover this is the air filter underneath the cover all plugs i had to remove this cover lead to the plugs first i'm going to remove this cover this one holding number 10 three balls i'm going to remove after that i need to disconnect this connector right after that we need to disconnect this clamp then after that we can lift up the air box right it's loose I have a bit space underneath however I'm going to disconnect from here right now I'm lift up and leave it like that you can see we have a enough space to work around this area basically i can see they change the ignition number three cylinder number three coil pack this is the one we are talking about at the moment cylinder number four normally cylinder number started from the timing chain area now we have access to the spark plugs this is the cylinder number one this is the cylinder number two cylinder number three already someone changed it this is the cylinder number four at the moment vehicle has a problem with this coil pack or spark plugs i'm not sure however 
we are going to change for spark plugs and one coil pack for this cylinder we need to this is all number 10 we need to remove so after that we can lift up the coil pack leave it as it is This one I'm going to disconnect from here. Electric connector. And after that, lift up and leave it out of the way. You need a number 16 socket for the remove spark plugs. I'm advised to you go to one by one, remove this one compare with the new one install and move to the next cylinder because mistake if you drop something if you open all and when you drop something it's going to inside the head be careful yes Visually same size then I'm going to reinstall this one and after that I'm going to move to the next one cylinder number two Nice and tight. Going to the cylinder number three. Right now, I'm going to move number four, forty one. Usually I can't find any quality for these spark plugs, however I'm going to change because sometimes could be injector, could be piston rings, never know. However as a first step I'm going to do the, this step, easy and cheap, if it not we have to check compression of the head and start from there again. and tight after that I'm going to reinstall ignition coil packs this is the new one I'm going to connect electrical connector that need to install 10 mil nut first couple of thread by hand Back this one. Up 
sekedar ni tu connect this connector and tie this one tight after that we need to screw this nut Ten mil. Right, nice and tight. That we need to install this vacuum line for the brake pump. Right. Now I need to go inside the car. I already installed the plugs and one coil pack. Then I had to reset from computer. Ignition on. Going to clear faulty cords. Cord cleared. Exit. Turn off and wait for five seconds. Ignition on, and again I'm going to take a service code. You can see as it is. No any present code. Then I'm going to switch off the car and start the car. You can see as it is. No any only light for the engine management this one for the parking brake right i'll check with the computer also computer didn't see any faulty codes thanks for watching if your car has a this faulty code you know what to do however i am expect engine management code very sooner because of the knock sensor problem however at the moment car running fine very smooth if you have a problem like this you can follow this step and try to sort it out if it not you need to go for a deep end check engine compressor check valves check piston little bit complicated sometimes it could be injector however you know what to do now please subscribe and follow our channel so you can get lot of useful video and tips thank you see you in the next video Thanks for watching.